it seems to be more of a brain booster, something that's actually good for your brain and healthy for your brain versus NuPep comes from a company called Bulk Stimulants. Uh, Bulk Stimulants is a company that I've really, really liked. They come out with DMAA, DMHA, Amcitrate, Teacrine, all these great, great supplements. So I was actually trying to order some of Theobromine. One of the guys says, hey man, I'll send you out some of this NuPep with your next order. And to be honest, NuPep is something that I've always heard of. I knew it was kind of like a nootropic. It has the uh, NOO, same as nootropic, the NOO. I've taken this for about two weeks now. It's supposed to improve memory function, enhance attention focus and concentration, increased wakefulness, promotes neuroplasticity and growth of new brain tissue, reduces oxidative stress, reduced anxiety slash promotes excitability. So this supplement seems to be more of a brain booster, something that's actually good for your brain and healthy for your brain versus something that you take to get a specific effect. Usually people want kind of more of a relaxing effect or they want more of an like awakening effect when it comes to nootropics. This one seems like it's just an all over good for you kind of nootropic. It is dosed very highly here. I don't know if you could see that, but it's a thousand servings. So each serving is uh, 10 milligrams. They give you this tiny, tiny scooper to make sure that you can get those 10 milligrams. For my testing, again, it's been about two weeks. So I haven't taken about 20 milligrams. So two scoops of that. Maybe I've taken three and maybe I've taken up to two scoops twice a day. But most of the time I've been trying to take it almost every single day. They say the half-life of this is really, really, really tiny. Um, five to 10 minutes, which is almost nothing. It might uh, be combining phenylalanine with glycine. I haven't done a lot of research on glycine, but from my understanding, it kind of increases water in the brain. It kind of protects things in the brain. I've tried some products that claim that glycine does a lot of good things, but I've never really taken glycine by itself. And this is a very, very tiny, tiny amount. So it's so crazy that it's only dosed at 10 milligrams. So it's very, very potent. Maybe I would feel it more if I did take more. My pros is that I think anybody could take it. Sometimes when you get into the more stronger stimulants, nootropics, really effective stuff, uh, you kind of want sometimes got to watch making sure that you're the right person taking it at the right time i think almost anybody could take this this just seems like an overall brain boosting good for you supplement if you're looking for energy blend you could put this in here just to kind of heal your brain if you're looking just for an anti-anxiety blend it's going to kind of help your brain in all aspects so you could take it i don't know anybody who doesn't want brain protecting effects um neuro neurological balancing effects this seems to balance a lot of the stuff in your head which i think everybody would like it's very small dose so it's kind of nice because when things are in a small dose, you could kind of fit them more into a product. There's a lot of good supplements, good things that maybe even take up to a gram, maybe up to two grams for the effective dose. So when you have that, you can't really put it in with a lot of other ingredients because it takes so much space up. So it's nice to know that this is dosed so smallly that you could throw a lot, like a little bit of this in a pill and still reach its effective dosage, which I really, really appreciate. I did notice a very, very, very extremely slight neurological balancing effect. It just seemed like it was a very very slight little boost that i would get from this to me i feel like this is more of like healing your brain versus something you're going to feel it only lasts five to ten minutes really so if you were going to feel it you're almost not going to feel it after 10 20 minutes so hopefully it has some neurological balancing effects the cons now i don't really have too many cons with this supplement one of the main ones is that i don't really feel this that much there's so many other brain boosting supplements like theanine choline so many other different nootropic boosting effects where you kind of have a little something a little specific thing that you're feeling this one not so much it seems like it's actually healthy for your brain i posted about this like hey guys i'm gonna review this pretty soon somebody else uh, suggested me two different nootropics and said that this one they didn't feel anything and it was pretty funny because i almost felt literally nothing on this one but i take a lot of different supplements so maybe you would feel it more often usually to be honest though i seem to feel little tiny changes that a supplement will give you versus other people sometimes i'll feel a little small something and other people will be like, oh, I don't feel that at all. Even me, it was really hard to find a specific feeling or benefit that I get from this other than an overall brain balancing effect. I think this is definitely something you'd want to take daily versus taking it specifically to feel good. Although I do think it would be good in like an overall brain boosting thing that you're supposed to take every day or some brain vitamins. I think this actually would be very good. The only con really is like I said, I don't overly feel anything, but I think maybe if you were a little bit older, if you had other things, or if you're somebody who doesn't take any stimulants of any kind, maybe you would feel this a lot more. I definitely felt like it was a small something, but I didn't really want to say that it 
it makes me feel a specific way because it, it was very hard to pin down. The last con was that it has not the best taste, but not the worst. Um, sometimes when it's dosed so small like this, if you put it straight into your mouth, it'll be a little bit more effective than if you put it into a drink. I did try this a few times. I would say maybe it's a little bit better tasting than DMAA, DMHA, but overall not the best, but at the same time, it really tasted much worse than this. And if you were to put it into a drink with one or two scoops, you should be fine. I like how small dose it is. I like how it's safe for everybody. I like that it has like this neurological balancing effect because I almost feel like you are taking care of your brain a little bit when you're taking this, but the cons was that it just really didn't feel that much from it. But this is a very, very popular supplement. So I'm sure if you're searching this video, maybe you've tried it, maybe you haven't tried it. I feel like this has gotten so much hype that it actually has to work for a good amount of people because it does get a lot of hype. I've heard of it a lot and uh, bulk stimulants made their own little packet of it. So anyways, guys, that's been my little rundown of Nupept. What do you think of Nupept? What is your favorite nootropic? I know one of my subscribers gave me a few more to try out down below that I've heard some very good things about, but Nupept, okay. I'm definitely going to keep taking it. In the future, notice something specifically about this, or if I find more, maybe I'll do another review. But so far, pretty solid, just not one that I would overly recommend. And I want you guys to let me know which uh, nootropics I should get next. I'll be very interested to see. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. I think we're almost there if we're not there already. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.